Now that we know how to add and subtract rational expressions with the same denominator, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can add and subtract rational expressions with different denominators. So let's go. Recall that in fractions, when you add or subtract two dissimilar fractions, the first thing that we have to do is to find their LCD. For example, 2 over 5 plus 1 over 3. So in this case, our LCD is 15. Okay, because the least common multiple of 5 and 3 is 15. Now, we divide 15 by 5 and then we multiply by 2. So, 15 divided by 5 is 3 times 2 and that is 6. 15 divided by 3 is 5 times 1 is 5. So, take note that 2 over 5 is actually the same as 6 over 15 because they are similar fractions. 1 third is also similar to 5 over 15. Okay, ginawa lang natin ito so that we can perform the indicated operation. Okay, we can only do that if they have the same denominator. So in this case, 6 plus 5 is 11, okay, over 15. And this is now the answer when we add 2 over 5 and 1 over 3. This process is also applicable when we add or subtract 2 rational expressions with different denominators. So let's go. Let's take a look at 5 over x plus 7 over 6x squared. Notice that we can combine them, okay, agad-agad, kasi magkaiba sila ng denominators. So the first thing that we have to do is to find their LCD and that gives us 6x squared. Now, let's divide, okay, the LCD by the denominator of each rational expression, then multiply to their numerators para maging similar na ang ating dalawang rational expression. So here we go. So we have 6x squared divided by x, and that is 6x, and then times the numerator, which is 5. Plus, okay, yung numerator natin, 7, times 6x squared divided by 6x squared is 1. Okay, now let's simplify the numerator. So 5 times 6x is 30x, and then 7 times 1 is 7. Okay, all over 6x squared. So therefore, the sum of these two rational expressions is 30x plus 7 all over 6x squared. Next, x over x plus 3 minus 7 over x plus 2. So again, we need to find the LCD, and that gives us x plus 3 and x plus 2. Okay, or x plus 3 times x plus 2 because si x plus 3, wala na ibang factor yan, no? yan pa rin. And then si x plus 2, wala na rin ibang factor, yan lang din. So we just simply multiply them, and that gives us our LCD. Now, using the LCD, divide natin no? yung... LCD natin sa bawat denominators, okay? Then multiply sa kanilang corresponding numerators para maging similar na ang ating two rational expressions. So, the LCD divided by x plus 3, that is x plus 2 times x. So, we have x times x plus 2 minus yung ating numerator, 7, times yung result dito, x plus 3 times x plus 2 divided by x plus 2, okay? Matitira si x plus 3, so times x plus 3 ka rito. So now, let's multiply this. x times x is x squared. x times 2, 2x. Negative 7 times x, negative 7x. And then negative 7 times positive 3 is negative 21. Combining similar terms, we now have x squared. 2x minus 7x is negative 5x, and then we also have negative 21. And that's it. That is our answer when we track these two rational expressions. For the last example, say we have 3a over a squared minus b squared minus 2 over a minus b. Finding their LCD, we have a plus b times a minus b, or simply a squared minus b squared. Next, we have 3a times 
Notice that a plus b times a minus b divided by a squared minus b squared is 1. Okay? So, times 1 here and then minus 2 times a plus b o times a minus b divided by a minus b, we still have a plus b. By simplifying the numerators, we now have 3a minus 2a minus 2b. By simplifying again, we now have 3a minus 2a is a and then minus 2b all over a plus b times a minus b. Sana may natutunan ka sa video na ito. Maraming salamat sa iyong panunood.